got a very powerful message for you today that could change the way you look at everything you do. It's about loser mentality, what it is and what goes into it. So I broke it up into two different parts. And I think the second one is very important. But the first one to start is to have an attitude to maintain. And this could have to do with quarantine going on right now or just all the different workouts you do. It could just be a whole mentality thing in general. So the first part that I want to talk about the maintain mentality, part of loser mentality, is that you think, okay, I'll just get a good workout in today or I'll just do a little bit here and there as long as I maintain for next season, as long as I maintain for next month and just keep staying the same. And first off, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. You have to think about what is your vision for yourself. Do you want to see yourself in the future? Do you want to be someone who just maintain and stay the same? Or do you want to be one of the best out of everyone you're competing against? Do you want to be just the same guy going through it, going through the motions, going through high school, university, pro, and just staying the same? Or do you want to keep getting better and be one of the best? Second part about the maintain mentality is that people you're competing against are going to improve. There's new technologies for training. There's new theories. People are just putting in more work than before. And when everyone else is getting better, if you're staying the same, you're going to get worse in comparison. So that's the first part, the maintain mentality, uh, loser mentality. And the second part, which I think is very powerful, you ever hear people say, as long as you work out hard and you, know, you put in effort, it's okay even if you lose in the end. You ever hear people say that? It's probably someone you're thinking about. And I think that that is fully loser mentality. Because if you tell yourself that it's worth it, if the whole thing's worth it, if you're putting in work, even if you fall short, then you're just gonna condition yourself to be okay with losing. And you're gonna program it into your unconscious mind to be okay with losing. If you're in a game and it's tight, you might not even be thinking about it consciously, but you're gonna think, oh, you know, even if we lose, it's okay, because I put in lots of work in the off season, and you'll start to have thoughts come through your head, like, damn, this, this was a good year, this was a good game, too bad we're gonna lose, but we did put in lots of work, so let's be happy. And that is fully loser mentality. You can't tell yourself that it's gonna be okay if you lose, because you'll start to believe it without even realizing it. You need to want to win more than anything else. And you have to truly want to win and never be okay with losing. If you lose, learn from it and move on, but never, before the whistle is blown, never think, damn, it's too bad we lost. You have to keep giving it all every single play. And this is about buying in to that decision that you're gonna give truly everything you have towards working to a goal that you may not reach. And if you don't reach it, it's gonna be very challenging on you. It's gonna be very hard to get over that loss or to not get you know, your scholarship, whatever goal that was. But the only way that you're gonna reach it and reach that true potential is if you fully buy in. And the risk of it is that it's a lot easier to not fully buy in and be okay with losing than it is to make sacrifices in other parts of your life and give everything for a vision that sometimes you're the only one that could see. So you might be thinking, Eric, what happens if I do give it all and I come up short in the end? Am I just gonna be messed up forever? One, it'll take a very long time to get over loss if you truly bought in. And two, once you retire, then you can start worrying about all that other shit. Worrying about how you're gonna get over it, worry about how you're gonna move on. But while you're still playing, while you still got time left, before you retire, don't think about that at all. Just think about getting better and winning. That's why we play, right? And if this message is scaring you a little, because you know that you're holding back a bit because you don't want to fully commit and know that when you, if you come up short, it's going to be hard on you, think about why are you on this earth? Are you here just to give mediocre efforts throughout your whole life? Or are you here to risk it, sacrifice, put everything in, go all in towards a goal, and then win? Because I promise you, your team might win a championship, and you might get awards, but you will never reach your full potential unless you go all in. So the challenge this week, right now, send this video to someone who you've heard in the past say that it's all gonna be okay if you put in work, even if you don't win in the end. 
I can almost guarantee that there's probably someone that pops up in your mind because lots of people have that loser mentality. Lots of people say it's okay if we're just maintaining during quarantine, but quarantine is going to keep going. We got to get better. And there's a lot of people that say it's all okay in the end. You know, after a game, if you lose, your parents might say it's all okay. Send it to them because we're not in it. Followers on this channel, we're not in it just to be average. We're not in it just to maintain. We're trying to be the best we can. And eliminating that loser mentality from your life, only way you're going to get there. Have a great Monday. Kill your week. If you're in quarantine right now and you don't have lots of equipment, check out the description below for a free home training program. And if you haven't seen it already, the last week's video on how to get bulletproof hamstrings, very big help. I know lots of people who pull their hammies, get strains, and this will help take care of most of those injuries.